Good night. It is uh, June 8, 2024, and it is a Saturday. Here in Sherbrooke, it's currently 17 degrees Celsius, 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun this morning, I'll be able to tell you about that, rose at 4.59 a.m., one minute before it rose yesterday. Um, and it set recently at 8.34 p.m., which is, and this is relieving, 15 hours and 35 minutes of sunlight. That is more sunlight than yesterday. The days are getting longer once again. Or at least we have the confirmation. I'm actually feeling better doing this than I thought because I really didn't want to do this. I had to... A series of um, events that don't really matter. I had to go back out to the grocery store to get cat food um, to feed my friend's cat. Uh, which seemed to be sort of like in vain because the cat, who is mainly an, out, uh, an outdoor cat, uh, wasn't in the house. So I'm thinking likely my other friend checked before he had to go off to work on a festival um, for the cat. Couldn't find the cat. Anyway, the cat can survive. Uh, but so there's a bowl of food inside and outside. I said the bowl of food outside was uh, empty from yesterday. Hopefully it's the cat. But I'm just really frustrated. You know what? I'll get into it. Uh, it's not anybody's... It's like, I'm not mad at anybody. This is sort of mainly insignificant, but... So I get there yesterday, and there's no cat food. So it's, you know, difficult to feed the cat when there is no cat food. Also, the cat was not inside. So when the cat's inside, uh, as soon as I enter, he will go up onto the counter where his food is and uh, bitch at me until there's food there. Because he's a cat and uh, he's hungry. That's the way that uh, he, he knows to express himself. So I can't find any food. So I call my friend and she tells me, oh, well, it should be right there on the counter. Well, it's not. So there's no more food. Which is fine. But. Then my friend tells me, um, well, okay, well, look, for tomorrow, I'll. I found some other food anyway. And it says, I'm going to text you a picture of uh, food for my cat. I said, Excellent. But then I didn't receive that. And then, yeah, you know, anyway, like, uh, today, yeah, my mom wanted help stripping the paint off of a uh, piece of furniture. I went to do that, and I went to bed too late last night. And I woke up feeling like shit, and I didn't want to go. It was raining. But I went, I took the bus, it was fine. And it got sunny again. But, uh, yeah, both of us were tired, and then we ate felt better, but I'm just feeling just, just exhausted. I put too much onto my plate this over these past few days, which is like not that much, but going from like not doing anything or feeling like I'm able to do anything to just doing a bunch of shit, which is making me feel a little bit uh, uh, anxious about next week. But uh, anyway. I left around four, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to leave early so that I had enough time to go to the mall, to go to the game store at the mall, to buy a booster pack of Modern Horizons 3, uh, so I'm like, that'll give me some dopamine. I mean, I also had like a dopamine overload last night from opening eight of those packs and playing with it, I mean, I had a ton of dopamine and just getting cards that I wanted, it felt so good. Uh, really like dopamine that yeah, people with similar brains as I do 
people who have neurodevelopmental disorders, uh, like mine or similar to mine, neurodevelopmental disorder, um, basically we, I've talked about this before, but we uh, really like just a quick dopamine and uh, we'll often seek that above all else or uh, choose to seek that instead of uh, making other maybe even less short-term but much more beneficial choices. Um, and I feel ashamed about this, but like it was cl clear that my mom wanted me to stay a bit longer, especially because like so when I wanted to like, leave. We, you know, we were finally having a conversation. We were having a nice conversation, and um, I just missed the bus. I was like, I'm, you know, still gonna leave. And she, yeah, she just, just a couple of things that she said, and the way she said it, like I, it was really clear that she wanted me to stay. And uh, I was like, it's very bad to leave because I wanted to spend time with her. I was like, no, I'm just gonna leave. So I was walking away, and I was like, man, that definitely took me away from what's important to me, which is to spend time with my mother. Um, and I know that then going to the mall is going to take me farther away from what's important to me, which is like uh, not spending money uselessly and especially like not spending money on things that will give me a quick hit of dopamine. Um, and then also like not being stuck in the rain. And so I said, I'm just, uh, just going to go home. And I would often in the past have made the opposite decision, so I was proud of myself for that. But anyway, as I'm walking home, I text my friend, and I'm like, what, yeah, what was that uh, cat food that uh, um, your cat eats? And no response. Like, all right, well, she's busy. Anyway, she, like, yeah, she, she forgot to send me the picture of the cat food, which is fine. Everybody forgets stuff. And then, like, uh, but I was a little irritated when I didn't get a response. I said, but then I go to the grocery store and I get myself some food for tonight. Which I haven't eaten yet. I am hangry. Just made this whole thing, uh, this whole day more difficult. Then, so I get home. And I'm about to watch this film called Blood Feast from 1963, which I'm going to watch later. And I get a message from my friend, and she's like, she sends me a screenshot of probably, it's like one brand, or like one like meta brand, which is Purina One, that has so many different products. And it's like a screenshot from Google image search. And there's probably 15 different products on there. And I'm like, for me, as somebody who is anxious, I find it very anxious. It makes me feel anxious when I go, when somebody asks me to do them a favor and go buy them something, and I'm not told exactly what to buy, because there are so many choices, and some people are very particular about stuff. With the same friend, funny enough, um, she drinks wine and will ask me sometimes if I'm like going over to hang out to pick up some wine. Well, like, I'm a bona fide, like, beer alcoholic where I'll drink anything as long as it's beer and there's alcohol in it because I'm an alcoholic. Wine people, I mean, there are, there are wine alcoholics, but, you know, she's not an alcoholic. Like, wine people get particular about their wine. I'm sure there are beer people who get particular, but if met more particular wine people than particular beer people, at least for, like, people drinking, like, cheap stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the kind of person, in my experience, in my circle of people I know, the kind of person who will drink cheap wine will be pickier about their cheap wine than somebody who drinks cheap beer will be pickier about their cheap beer. Probably because all cheap beer basically tastes the same, and there are probably distinctions in how you know, different types of wine uh, will taste. I mean, for cheap beer, really, like, around here, Black Label is sweeter than the rest, and then you have, the, like, the dry version 
uh, which is like a 6% versus say 5% or 6 point something percent versus 5%. Uh, but other than that, literally, they almost all taste exactly the same, and the nuances are not significant enough uh, to really make a difference. Um, and so, yeah, when I'm like shown, and this is like a more of a me problem, and I also didn't ask to like specify just because I was like, it's getting frustrated because I'm hangry, uh, and. Uh, I really didn't want to leave my apartment again. And it was going to have to do, because I, mean, oh, oh, yeah, I had to bring in like a package as well that was delivered. Um, and I told my friend that I was going to like uh, do this, so I'm going to do it. And also in case the cat wants to go in, because it's been raining. Um, anyway, so I get, I get to the store. But then my, my friend had messaged me after uh, sending the image saying, like, basically for him, for Pete, uh, anything's fine. Awesome. So I do get a Purina One bag of chow, but I was getting frustrated too because like I, I was bringing back cans and the IGA they have this um, sink where you can wash your hands, which is great, but they don't have any hand sanitizer left. But it's better, especially when you're bringing back bottles and cans, because you can get can juice on your hands to have a sink. However, it's all those fucking sinks where you have to like push it in and it'll like slowly release itself to the point where it'll like stop doing it. So it's like, it's not a time, you've seen this before. But the problem is that like, I don't want to keep having to touch the fucking thing that everybody touches when I'm washing my hands because the point of washing my hands is because I've touched, because I tried to I do a lot of putting my hand in like a pocket and like opening door handles and stuff. Um, and so I try to touch the screen like this, but it's a, like a, it's a, you know, capacitive touch screen, right? So like, okay, it'll pick up on the capacitance. So anyway, I couldn't do that. I'm just getting like frustrated um, of having to like, because then, but then also like, so I have to like, uh, pull back my sleeve, and then the problem is that if I use my elbow to hit it, well, which part of my sleeve now has touched the thing, right? This part right here, right next to my hand, right? If I can touch my face and stuff. By the way, um, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, okay? Uh, bonafide, diagnosed. Uh, I know, I'm not saying that's a brag that I have OCD, I'm just saying that, but like, I am fully aware that this is not normal behavior, okay? I'm the problem here, or like, or at least my brain is what's making this a problem. I was getting very frustrated at that. I had the cat food, I'd go, and uh, the food outside was eaten. I wasn't sure it was the cat, but uh, I went to leave. I saw the cat there eating the food that I just put out, so everything is fine. It's no problem, because I was a bit worried about the cat, too. I know he spends a lot of time outside, but, like, I can go there one time per day, uh, per day you know? Like, I'm not there to just, you know, see the cat wanting to come in. He did, not, he did not want to go inside. It's fine. Anyway, I cannot wait to eat. I'm thinking about the song Hungry So Angry by Medium Medium from 1978, which is a fabulous post-punk song. And is like most famous for being one of the, if not the first songs by white people for white people, including slap bass. I don't know why that's like something that's mentioned every single time. I guess maybe it was just, like, revolutionary because all these fucking honkies have never heard, like, a cool bass line before. The bass line is really, really cool in this song. But yeah, it's credited for introducing, like, slap bass to white people. Um, sort of, like, isn't, isn't the song Rapture by Blondie the first time, like, a white woman ever, like, rapped on a, like, major hit? I don't know. These things that, like, 
the U.S. is a very weird, weird place uh, when it comes to race, if you have not noticed yet, but, like, I don't know. It just, those kinds of things remind me of where it's like, I don't know, like, why that's, but anyway, but in any case, uh, Medium Medium are an English band, right? Sorry, I'm scrambling on, I'm so hungry. Uh, yeah, from Nottingham, England. Um, 